Hey, how's it going? Today, we're gonna go over how to draw a mixture between Godzilla and Cthulhu as one character. So, let's get started. Okay, let's go over how to draw a mixture of Godzilla and Cthulhu as one character. Okay, let's do it. Mostly kind of upper body, so let's do that. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna draw a line over here across, kind of for the middle portion of Godzilla's mouth. I'm gonna talk about who I'm taking attributes from as we do it. Curve down over here, pull up. I'm actually gonna start kind of into stuff early. So right now we're gonna put in the teeth, the row of teeth right here. So literally just triangle shapes. I'm gonna keep going here along the edge of the mouth. Over here on this side, down like so. So that's the far side teeth. And now we're going to find the snout, which is right above the teeth. So right here, it's going to bulge out just a little bit, bulge out just a bit. Curve on the top and down. Let's find the nostrils over here in the front. So right here, it looks like something like that. Just like imagine like a grain of, I don't know, rice. You just, you just stick it to somebody's nose, right? Somebody's snout. Line along here, down. Down right here. And now we're gonna open the bottom of the mouth right here. So line down here like this creature, soon to be creature is roaring, right? Ow, I just poked myself, dang. Uh, curve along the bottom here. Don't forget to hit the like if you like uh, kind of the speed I'm doing this at. I'm trying to do it slower because that was my biggest complaint. Everybody's like, oh, you're too fast, you're too fast. Let's go over here now. Let's see, right here. And let's find the teeth over here. So right there, same thing, triangle shapes. All along, triangular shapes. And they're not that big, right? Godzilla's teeth were never really that big. I mean, in comparison. Line over here, up along the edge. Curve out, pull in for the tongue in the mouth. Let's put a split in that tongue a little bit, like, you know, a little bit of a line. Now we're going to do something that's a little bit interesting. Now we're going to do the Cthulhu-like stuff. So maybe out of his nose or something. There's going to be Cthulhu, you know, style tendrils. So that's one, right? Just kind of wiggling down like Linguini. You're going to catch the bottom of it here, right? And we're going to follow that line that we just drew, okay? See that Linguini? And it's going to be coming out the far end too. So we're going to, where would it be coming out? Maybe over here? And then over here as well, we're gonna catch it, right? Because it's gonna get a little thicker up there, we might as well do that. Let's go under the jaw right here. So line out and down, right? It's kind of like a square jaw downward. Not like a square jaw like a Chad, but I'm talking about like square, like, you know, just, you know, like, like. By the way, if you really wanna learn how to draw Godzilla, go to the link I'm gonna put in the description. It's a free how to draw Godzilla worksheet. It teaches you how to draw Godzilla from every single angle from your mind. Like you'll be able to know this now. It's a little worksheet. Um, you can print it out, simple. You can just have it on your phone and it gives you the guide on how to draw Godzilla in every angle, even Godzilla's anatomy on his face. Go download that. That one for sure is not gonna be free forever. So go take a look at that if you're a Godzilla fan. Line back. For the jaw and now we're gonna go over here and find the eye I would give the eye maybe down like it's gonna be kind of you know angry right that angry eye so downward a little bit up 
like there. And then his eye is going to be over here, peeking out of that corner. Line underneath, line underneath for kind of the bag of the eye, right? Because it makes it, you know, monsters kind of have that bag under the eye, like they're tired. But it really just makes them look more craggly and like angry. Let's find the top of the head over here. Up over here. Godzilla's kind of flat head right there. Godzilla's a very flat head. You can see a peak of the line over there on the other side. Down here. Line underneath. So under that jaw. And I want to draw a couple more tendrils. So now that we got this right. So let's just say another tendril is peeking out the side over here. Line over here. And let's just say another one's peeking out over here. Curve right there. We're just kind of spitballing here. Curve over here. And curve back up right there. Right. So we have a couple of tendrils coming off. It's looking pretty good, I think. I like it so far, right? Definitely hit that like if you can. I don't know if I've said that at all. Line underneath, that's copying Godzilla because Godzilla's neck gets bigger. Out over here, down. Out over here for the arm. And let's kind of make it go downward on that side. Let's give him some wings over here. We're gonna have him, because sometimes they're coming out of the Cthulhu's head, and then sometimes they're coming out of his back. So let's just do one like it's coming out the back of his head. Just to pulling up right here, curve, kind of that joint on the wing. Out, curve in, curve in, curve in. Over here now, pull up for the bony portion of the wing out and we're going to pull a line inward and inward to kind of you know to show the folding of that wing let's draw more Godzilla stuff so Godzilla has an ear usually like lizards do so we're going to start around this point pulling down kind of that lizard ear sort of thing it's just like a slit in there and it's in his head Thin line now down the side to kind of separate the this side of his chest and the back. It's that divider. Thin lines, very thin lines across over here. They don't even have to connect. It could be like those perforated lines, right, on your rip paper. And that's just a texture of that snake belly that some versions of Godzilla have has. And that's kind of it. Everything from this point on, it's up to you. You can draw curves right here. See little half curves? Just pepper them around for texture. Maybe lines right here. We can throw a little thin lines if you want to make this look a little bit more realistic. Thin lines. To kind of show indications, right, of scales. Little thin lines just all over the place, like following the flow of stuff. And it's just going to show an indication of like, oh, there's a texture here. And that's kind of what we're after. But pretty much done. You can fill in the mouth if you like. Um, there's, you know, other stuff you can do. Maybe like, you know, maybe they make the eye a little bit meaner. Draw more folds in the eye. But... Or maybe throw a thin line over here, just along here, to show kind of a little bit of almost reflection in a way. But I hope you enjoyed that. Stay here, and I want you to... Well, actually, let's go curl over here for the nostrils. I was thinking that's a big one. See, like the... Usually the nostrils have a little bit of, like, flair to them. Anyways, that's it. I hope you liked that. What's the name of this guy? Let me know what the name of this guy is in the comments. I'm going to reply to every single comment. Okay? Stick around. Let's do the next lesson, all right? Stay for the next lesson. Okay, so that was amazing. You finished this lesson, but keep it going. Keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here. It's going to be within the same theme, and you want to keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going. So click right here.